Through this portal walks the future of the Marine Corps. This means that you will leave your civilian life behind you, and from now on, live with honor, courage, and commitment. Do you understand? Yes, sir! This is it. This is what I came here for. No one forced me to come here. I came here willingly knowing that I would be pushed to my limits to become one of, the, one of America's greatest fighting force, the United States Marines. When we first showed up and we got all our belongings and our, our all our personal items and identities stripped away, and right before our haircuts, it felt like we had hit just rock bottom. And all the friends we made on the bus ride over here, all the friends we made at MEPS on the airplane rides, depending on where you came from, um, you couldn't even identify them anymore. They got their head shaved, all their like personal identification was all gone, their clothes was different. And at that point, you were pretty much just all alone. No one was talking, everyone was standing at whatever they thought attention was and just trying to get by, at least for the few hours that we were there waiting for our haircuts and stuff. The purpose of the first phone call that recruit get when he, when he gets down here is just to let the person, whoever he's calling, uh, preferably the next of kin, well, mother, father, target, whoever, is just basically to let them know that he made it down here safely. Hello. Phone calls about 30 seconds. Just say, hello, I love you. Um, I made it down here to MCRD. I'll begin training. You'll receive a letter from me within the first two weeks. Do you have any questions? That's literally it. He gives, them, he gives the person about 25 seconds to answer a question. If not, he says, I love you, and then he hangs up. advise them to do is to be calm and relaxed, to come in in an orderly fashion. If they have a mole, to describe it to us and locate it so we know where it is. And just tell them to relax. Don't, don't be stiff, be flexible. And it'll be over within 40 seconds. Now, once the lights go off, you're gonna take out your linen and you're gonna set up your rack and go to sleep, you understand? Yes, sir. So when we first got a chance to sleep during receiving week and we hadn't slept for probably at least 50 hours, we were so exhausted that when we laid down we couldn't even sleep. We were just so stressed out from everything and it wasn't that the drone structures were stressing us out, it was just the environment that we were put in. We were taken away from our homes, we're out of our beds and now we're in this uncomfortable small spring bed with like almost hotel feeling sheets and with a bunch of random people that we haven't built the camaraderie with that we could connect with and we could feel comfortable with. And anything from the showers to the, to the lights that were beaming in your eyes when you're asleep would just make you think of, try to think of the reason why you're here. I made a promise to my family that I'll come back and bring. It motivates me to keep going through boot camp as my father. I will never quit. I won't be ashamed. Just bring down their back home. <laughs>